Hey y'all, it's Portia again and I am back with part three and the final part of knowing who you are. I started this series off with finding out what your name means and I wanted to do that for um, three particular reasons. But before I get into those reasons, I want to start with the scripture that I gave at the beginning and it is Isaiah 43 and 1. I actually want to read verse 2 today, but I'm going to read it at the end so that you get a better understanding of what I'm trying to say in this video. <clears throat> but for the first part, here it is. It says, but now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. And I started out with that um, scripture in the beginning video because I mentioned that a mighty move of God was going to take place and I felt it and you know how like when you kind of sense things like that when you kind of sense elevation in your life you don't know what to do so you try to prepare it the best way you can and I kind of had it all wrong um first things first when you have to find out you know what your name means and yes in the first video I mentioned that my name meant an offering and so within that it's all about seeking God and what, you know, does it line up with what he says about you? Have you been, you know, searching what those words or phrases or symbols mean in the Bible? And I did. And a lot of times when I was, you know, looking it up, trying to figure out, you know, what an offering is, is, is really a gift. And with gifts comes service. And it's all about having, you know, a servant's heart, being willing to give yourself freely to God and to the people that he has placed, you know, in my life for me to help. Because how can, you know, you give an offering and not help someone, you know? And for number two, when God calls you by name, he wants you to be closer to him. And that is all about seeking him. And a lot of times when we feel like we are being called in another direction or called higher, we are ready for um, a step in our career or we're ready for something big and spectacular, you know, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard type of thing. When in our reality, God just wants you to be intimate with him. He wants an intimacy with him that you've never experienced before he wants you to yearn him and desire him just like he does for you so him calling you is to call you know, you closer because he wants to use you and anytime God calls you by name is because that there is a purpose behind it he wants you to either you know say something or to use a gift or a talent he's placed inside of you because a lot of who you are are the things that you have and the things that you know he's he's giving you so like say for instance you have a talent a gift of song or something and you feel a, a bigger calling by god he's going to use that he's going to use that gift you're going to be able to sing either his praises or worship or some type of music that draws his people in where it doesn't matter the genre as long as you know god is glorified in in the end of it and lastly when you're seeking him you find out a lot of things about yourself that you didn't know and you find out a lot about what he thinks about you and you go deeper into finding out what your purpose purpose is and why he placed that purpose inside of you and through all those things he he shows you things about yourself that is amazing and that is mind-blowing and that is commendable and all these things that he's showing you about yourself, you ultimately have to believe them. And I say that because there are a lot of times, you know, God would show me things about myself and I will forget about it the next day. And, you know, then what I talked about in video number two about rejection, distraction and comparison, those things will rise up and you will forget who you are because you forgot who God said you were. When God is telling you things about yourself, you have to believe it and you have to stand in it and run on it. I mean, you have to stand on it and run with it. And so with that, the next part of the scripture of Isaiah 43 and 1 verse 2, it says, 
when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned and the flames will not set you ablaze. And this is so powerful because he's letting you know, okay, I've called you by name. And when you realize, you know, what your name means and then you seek him to get closer to him. And then he lets you know throughout seeking him that he wants to use you. Then in the midst of him using you, you're going to face things. But he's letting you know that he's always going to be with you. And when you go through those waters, nothing's going to happen to you. Nothing's going to sweep over you. When you walk through the fire and you go through things that could be, you know, harmful to your destiny and your purpose, you won't be burned by them and you're always going to be an overcomer. These are the things he promises you when you decide to really prepare yourself and find out who you are with this walk and this journey with God. So, yeah, that's, you know, really about it. That sums it up. I actually have like a list of scriptures that I've been looking up about different things that God says about you about because there are a lot of things he says that you have to remember every day that you have to affirm over yourself and for example I am a child of God I am the righteousness of God I am a friend of Jesus he calls me friend and I'm gonna actually place all the different scriptures for references of things that I looked up you know down here in the caption so that you could you know see and look them up for yourself and get a better understanding of them. But until then, that wraps up this series. Thank you guys for watching and listening and being a part of it. Please comment so we can discuss more about this. If you have questions, I'm here to answer them the best way that I can. So comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see y'all later. Thank you.